And it's been a rough couple of days for the passengers of the Majestic Princess. The cruise ship bound for Auckland was forced to shelter near Rangitoto Island after ex-tropical cyclone Lola closed the port. And passenger Beth Darling is with us this morning to explain how it all went down. Um, Beth, thank you for being with us. Good morning. Welcome to New Zealand. How was your ride? Well, good morning. It was it was an adventure, to say the least. Um, <laughs> There were more people seasick on the ship than I've ever imagined, actually. It, well, was, what uh, time, it was tough. <laughs> yeah, what time was it? Were people in bed or were people up and about? Describe what, what the situation was like. So, I, again, I'm not quite sure how far out we were, maybe at 200 miles or so. Sorry, I'm from the state, so it's miles. But um, we started hitting really rough seas um, early on Sunday. Maybe even Saturday, they started getting rougher. By Sunday, it was just, we were going up and down. People were walking through the hallways, and it was like watching a, just a drunk parade because all of us <laughs> were doing this, and it was just, it was comical. Somebody joked that if you were drunk, you might actually be able to walk straight. But <laughs> if, if you were sober, you were fall, you know, and, and people were trying to carry things. Um there were alcohol bottles that were sliding off shelves, sliding off trays, um, sliding off tables. So that started Sunday. And then by Sunday evening, it was, well, even Sunday afternoon, we sat on the fifth deck and watched the waves just crash, crash into and over the windows. Like we were sitting, um, it's an interior deck at that point. Um, they closed the decks um, the higher decks, maybe 16 and 17, is where you start being able to walk outside. Um, and those were closed pretty much all day. They shut down the pools because the water was just sloshing everywhere. Um, and uh, by yeah, nighttime, there were, uh, by nighttime some footage. there were people that that were getting like bopped, bounced out of their beds in the middle of the night from the waves. Oh. Gosh, yeah. that's, that sounds pretty frightening. <laughs> Beth, we're just looking at some footage now. I think it must be from the fifth deck that you're talking about where the, the waves are coming up and washing on the windows. Um, no, no injuries yes. as far as you're aware, and the, and the crew, you have said, treated you very well. Oh, the, tr the crew is just absolutely amazing. I've yet to find anybody here who has not gone above and beyond to, to be helpful, to be smiling, despite right there... I'm sure some of them were not feeling very well, and you could not tell. They went above and beyond. In terms of injuries, I have to say, I think that there were several people who fell, um, and, um, you know, I'm not quite sure. There's an older population on board. Mm -hmm. I know it was really tough for them, but um, people avoided, obviously, avoided baths, avoided showers yesterday um, just to try and minimize the chances of falling. But um, I, I don't think there was anything serious. I certainly didn't yeah. hear about it. But That's I do good. know some people that took some spills. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It Beth, would be hard not to. Yeah, well, exactly. It sounds like it was pretty rough. You're, you're in about an hour. You're allowed. You're going to be set free, and you're going to be, you're going to be <laughs> unleashed on New Zealand. What are your plans? <laughs> Well, I'm I'm lucky enough. I was actually planning on staying in New Zealand for a week before I fly home. Others um, will have the day to get off and go do excursions, go tour around Auckland before they'll get back on the ship. And I think the ship is heading out tonight to head towards Sydney, Australia. But um, there were there are a lot of disappointed people because so many people were planning on going to the Hobbitron and. I personally was planning on going to Rotorua and going Zorbing, but um, some of those plans have just uh, gotten washed away, if you will, in, in yeah. the rain and the trouble. So, but we'll all be glad just to be able to get off the ship. And it feels nice to not be um, swaying quite as much as we yeah, were. <laughs> absolutely, Beth. This is quite a. This is quite a. Um... A, a quick, this is not a question that's relevant to uh, the trip that you've just had, but I'm just reading my notes here, and it says that you've gone from being a, you're an American, a former lawyer, and now a sex and relationship podcaster. That's quite the gear change. <laughs> well, yes, actually, and I was a board certified divorce lawyer, family lawyer, and now oh. I'm a love, sex, and relationship coach, and author, and <laughs> podcaster. I, 
I do. I, I think it's much better to keep people together than it is to help them break apart. And believe me, you learn a lot as a divorce lawyer about what tears people apart. So, yes, I teach the most interesting classes, and um, and I've had quite fun talking with so many people on this ship. I'll say one thing. Princess markets this as the love boat, but what is really spectacularly beautiful is how many couples on here have been married 30, 40, 50, 60 years. There truly is so much love, and and talking to these couples um, has really been beautiful for me. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got some stories that entertained them yesterday as well. So Absolutely. <laughs> that's good, the, right? We needed something to get our minds off. <laughs> that's right. And as the craziness. old saying goes, if the boat is a rock and don't come knocking. <laughs> Beth, thank you very thank that's you very much for being with us. Majestic Princess Passenger Beth Darling.